Hello, Darby. I want to play a game. For months, I have been subscribed to your YouTube channel. What? With notifications on. Okay. Silence! And it's been almost four weeks since you last uploaded a Jinx reading. Oh, well, I mean, sometimes it takes a long time to film and edit. Do not interrupt me! In front of you, you will find makeup and the tools necessary to apply it. I have also provided you with a Juje Kyung fit. You shall dress up as Juje Kyung. Only then will I release you. You're a monster! You have one hour. No! Um, hi guys. Sadly, the rumors are true. I did get kidnapped by Jigsaw. Uh, he wants me to dress up as Juje Kyung in order to escape, which it was kind of weird because he already let me escape. So I think he like implanted something into me. So if I don't complete this mission, I'll die. He provided me with this Juje Kyung fit, which, uh, this, when it came off the Goodwill rack, it smelled rank. This definitely belonged to a disgusting disgusting straight white man but um that's what he told those were his words not mine but this it has like i washed this okay he jigsaw didn't wash this i washed this he did not provide me laundromat money to wash this okay i had to do, i had to this came out of my own coin this has like splooge on it that did not come off i don't know if i like the implications of that because anyways but um also it has like a big ass rip in this i just i'm gonna assume that this uh juje kyung's bicep was just so goddamn big that when he put on the shirt it just and then also he provided me these shorts also my room is a mess that is not because of me that was because of jigsaw okay he came in here he tried to kidnap me and i was putting up a fight okay i would not back down i was throwing elbows i was throwing hair i was that's why the the manga shelf is like everything's falling off the the yarn's all gone that was on him and he also provided me with these boxing gloves which these seem i think these are for children because these don't really fit my hands but I will, I think if I, I could just put my hand in like halfway and that, I look like a lobster. We have a wig. I don't remember what hair cutting video this is from, but it's from one of them that I did. But um, I think it's about the right color. So I think we're going to use this. Yeah, Jigsaw didn't provide me with a wig. Dumb bitch. This is not really giving uh, Juje Kyung as much as it is giving uh, Snape, as much as it is giving Rowley. So I think we're going to have to like style it or something. But I mean, see, like that kind of looks right. But before we do all that, we're going to have to start on the makeup. Because I think we all know that the main event, every time Juje Kyung pulls up on screen, he is in full beat glam no matter what so i have put on the sports shirt um it still smells a little weird but i'm gonna ignore that so juju kyung he has like brows he has brows that's his main feature i feel like on his face and me and him don't have the same brows so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna glue them down i've are uh, uh, uh no i i have not done this before i've never done this before um I've, I've watched jigsaw do this before so that's how i know how to do it i did not jigsaw and me are not the same person i don't they we do look pretty similar but we're not the same person i swear okay those aren't my dogs i don't know what those are maybe those are jigsaw's dogs i don't know this is gonna look real good i i have a lot of faith in this jigsaw is gonna be eating up his words when i pull up and it's exactly jq if you guys are after the purple eyebrow look this is a really good hack you just use one of one of these 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 it, this is disappearing purple however you could just throw this in your makeup bag to go at the club everywhere you could just touch up every time you go it's like lipstick it's like a lip gloss you know okay so now that i have the eyebrows glued down i'm gonna use this color corrector to correct the hair color of it so it just looks like it's just smooth. bye bye eyebrows oh my god without it blending in i kind of look like one of those oompa loompas are they still casting for the wonka movie i would i would make the cut i believe i would make the cut i think i did really good this time well this is the first time i ever glued down my eyebrows this is not the second time this is the first time i've ever done this i don't know i don't know what i was talking about but so okay you know what i'm not gonna lie i already tried to do this look a while ago see i'm doing like the right angle and like this was not because of jigsaw i just tried to do it just a bit just for fun fun moment but i couldn't get the shade right it's because me and jay kyung it's glaringly obvious that me and him are two different shades okay so i should have probably just bought like a white foundation but i tried to mix 
this like white cream paint that Jigsaw uses with my foundation. That didn't work. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my normal foundation, put it on how I normally do, and then just like try to highlight a bunch. I also have like a white powder that he gave me. Maybe I'll use cornstarch flour. We don't know. We'll see how it goes. So before I put on the foundation, I'm going to use the same color corrector to correct the rest of my face because I, I have... Uh, imperfections, which Jay Kyung does not because I am a real person and he is drawn. So have y'all ever gotten kidnapped by Jigsaw? <laughs> Drop it in the comments below because I know that my fifth cousin, she was trying to attend her wedding and sadly Jigsaw kidnapped her so she couldn't attend the wedding. I know it's a really common occurrence. So I wanna hear, drop your Jigsaw stories down below. So I have this reference picture that uh, Jigsaw DM'd me. Uh, and I feel like he has kind of like a more angular face than me. So I'm going to contour a bit underneath my foundation. And then I'm going to contour on top. So it's like really like strong. He kind of has like a, like a really square shape jawline which i kind of have i feel like i'm built like a funko pop so i feel like this i my face shape is really coming into advantage right now jay kyung's nose is like really really tiny so i'm gonna really contour because uh jigsaw did not give me money for a rhinoplasty so we're gonna have to fake it what do y'all think do i look like jay kyung yet all right so now i'm gonna put on my foundation i'm really stacking this on thick because he's really smooth and I'm really not so I need to I'm just gonna try to use this to cover up as much as I can <laughs> happy Halloween everyone uh what are y'all dressing up as for Halloween this is not a dress up for me this is a survival tactic for me okay so now I'm gonna set my face but um I do have this like white powder it's uh but I or Jigsaw used it and he said that it's real crusty dusty and it does not smell good it did burn his face a little bit so I think I might just use this in like the areas that should be whiter so it's more like highlighted you know he has he it, he has batty makeup on every day if there's anything that you could give him it's that the fact that he wakes up probably at 4 a.m to get ready first of all I'm gonna set my eyebrows because I feel like I keep making like faces and it's like crackling off so that's the main event we need to set these because i feel like the most recognizable part of jay kyung is the eyebrows without it you'll be like what the fuck is she wearing i feel like his face is like much more skinny like his face ends right here so i'm just gonna try to contour like this part off oh hell yeah i feel like jigsaw kind of set me up for failure because first of all he gives me a character that is not the same shade as me a different face shape completely he doesn't give me surgery money and to top it all off this shirt smells so bad it's really hurting my nostrils right now i swear i washed it oh god my legs got numb sorry guys i feel like this is a sign from god he's telling me girl stop dressing up as jay kyung please i can't tell if these like doo-doo skid marks are from me or if they were just already on the shirt this this one right here was already on the shirt when a uh, jigsaw bought it these however i don't know these might be new doo-doo stains we're not sure though okay i'm gonna reapply concealer down the center of my nose because like i said we want this nose to be skin tea and then i think i'm gonna set it with this white powder that may or may not be chalk i'm not sure perfect so now we can finally move on to the eyebrows i'm gonna use this black that uh i already for that jigsaw already used for his face but i'm gonna use brown first to map it out because i feel like i'm gonna mess up so we're gonna use the brown because that's easier to clean up instead of the black his eyebrows are just very angled i feel like oh god I feel like I can't breathe for this. Okay, uh, this side is definitely way higher up. I... I think I need to put the other one on. I think it... it um, honestly, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. I, it looks pretty similar, okay? If I, if I hold these together, it looks pretty similar. And honestly, I don't think Jigsaw will judge me that badly because he's, he's not too good at makeup either, if I'm gonna be honest. So I kind of messed up right here. So I'm gonna use some concealer to just make it look cleaner all right the glue stick is peeling off i'm going to ignore that okay so now i'm gonna move on to the eye makeup he kind of has like three different eyelids so i'm gonna draw on those because i don't i wasn't born with that i don't where should i put it should i just put it like right here all right how does it look guys be honest does it look like i have a jinx i think i need to like deepen it so i'm gonna use liquid eyeliner to like draw it 
shit, this is probably a bad idea. Okay, so then I'm gonna use more eyeshadow on top of it to like blend it out. I don't know, I feel like I saw Michelle Fawn do this once. Okay, so now that I have my second crease drawn on, I'm gonna add the uh, brown to my normal crease so that it looks like I have the three eyelid going on. Shit, Jake Young, watch out. To be honest, he kind of got like a smoky eye going on. So I'm gonna put the brown like underneath here too and then he has like very thick black eyeliner so i'm gonna just use the black eyeshadow and just try to draw like a wing that he has i'm gonna be honest you guys i'm not much of a makeup guru i know it's kind of hard to believe sometimes i pull up in the most extravagant looks and you guys are just always asking what I, why am i not at red carpet events yet uh i kind of messed up right here i also definitely made these wings way too big these wings are ready to take a flight his his are ready to stay home i think i did pretty good you guys we have uh like 20 minutes left of our hour that jigsaw gave us so we need to quickly get to styling the wig this wig i do think i need to do some cutting on it and i probably have to i don't really know what hairstyle he even has it's kind of just like like split in the middle you know i might be able to get away with just like kind of kind of doing like one of these you know what that kind of looks like him I don't have a wig cap, so I feel like you could see the bun that I have on underneath. So it looks like the hair is like going like this. We can make it work if I just sit like this and have half of my head cut off. Uh, okay, I think I'm gonna grab these like chunks and cut the little wispies he has. Okay, wasn't trying to get myself bangs, but... I feel like also this wig is just kind of like long, so I'm just gonna cut like... We need it to look like shorter. Oh, that looks good. Okay, let me do the other side. I don't know why, but it kind of looks like I have a mullet. I think it's because the back part right here, I didn't cut enough off. Is that? Okay, for a second, I thought that was my real hair. Why do I feel like it keeps getting longer each time I cut a piece off? You know, I don't think I did that bad. Let me put on the boxing gloves. Maybe if I put on the boxing gloves, you'll be able to see the vision better. Kim Dan! So I think that this is as good as it's gonna get. So now I'm gonna FaceTime Jigsaw and show him the whole fit and see what he thinks about it. Hey girl, what do you think? Wow, I love it so much.